Um, can I just add a question here? Um, what role do you see, if any, um, wireless uh, technologies playing in the ability to deliver to uh, rural and remote areas? Uh, I think there's a lot of potential for wireless technologies. I mean, I think that where we are is that we're at a, at a, at a moment in time where there are a variety of ways to see broadband deployed. Broadband over power line, broadband via satellite, broadband via wireline, broadband via cable, broadband via licensed spectrum, broadband via unlicensed spectrum. I mean, we really have reached a moment in time where anyone who wants to invest and to come up with a business model really is, is free to invest. And um, that's, good for, that's good for the American people. We think that most uh, technologies will involve some mix. Our industry, for example, really believes that uh, American consumers today are at the place where they want to have communications on a 24-7 basis, that they want to have communications their way, that they want to have communications um, all the time, and whether their communications they're receiving are fixed or mobile, should be transparent to the user. And that multifunctional devices are going to be using Wi-Fi spectrum, they're going to be using um, uh, cellular and PCS spectrum, and consumers are going to, to be living in an environment where they have constant communications. I, I would agree with what you said. I mean, first of all, let's focus on the areas that don't have broadband dependent. There are some urban areas where there are over 20 broadband providers in, in an urban area. Um, far more choices for broadband than there would be grocery short store chains serving certain urban areas. So very, very competitive. Second, we do, want, we do need to have federal policies that encourage investment. What we're seeing in those areas where there are multiple providers is that we are seeing competition that increases speed and lowers costs. And it's no surprise that when costs go down, um, penetration rates go up. Um, third, there are some drivers for those who will take broadband. One of them is having access to a computer. If somebody doesn't have access to a computer, they're not going to sign up for broadband. And so we need to focus on the fact that if people are going to make use of broadband, that they have to have the kinds of equipment that makes broadband of utility. And then finally, we, we need to, uh, again, zero in on those areas where there isn't coverage and have government policies such as these public-private partnerships that will aim at getting computers into homes and identifying um, various uses and linking up the, those who will use broadband with those who want to provide it. I think that we are moving towards a national broadband policy. We, we saw... Um, uh, Speaker Pelosi come forward with an innovation agenda to put a priority on broadband deployment. We see the World Senate Republican High Tech Task Force talking about broadband deployment. I think that the country is very, very, very focused on broadband deployment, and I think that that's good. And um, at the end of the day, what's important to, to this conference, since it is on finance, is that we need to have an environment that does reward investment, encourages investment.